Hello and welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here another 10 pens currently inked up for this week. I think let's go through these briefly one by one. We'll go through them in a little bit more detail and then we'll do a writing sample. So from left to right we have the Visconti Camelot, the Visconti Last Templar Jacques de Molay, the Visconti Homo Sapiens Corsani 90, the Visconti Homo Sapiens Corsani Octagonal, the Visconti Homo Sapiens Midnight in Florence, the Visconti Daedalus, the Visconti Opera Master Luna, the Armando Simone Club Bologna Extra Black and Gold Luchens, the Pelican M1000 Warden Starlight, and then last but not least, the Pelican M1000 Warden Sunlight. So I think let's go through these in a little bit more detail. This pen inked up this week is the Visconti Camelot. And as you can see here, it's got a brilliant, lovely chainmail effect going on there with also a herringbone effect that you can see there on that weaved chainmail. It also has a sword as a clip as well. This really, for me, is a great pen. It's not a pen that I would normally have gone for, um, but... I like that it was Camelot, and Camelot means a lot to people in the UK, uh, or typically can do, and um, I like Knight, and I like the round table, and I thought that this could potentially be a, a nice pen to have, but what makes this a special pen for me is that it has an old style Visconti 18 karat gold nib there, and this is a really really nice nib uh, it's a medium nib and it writes very nicely it has a bounce to it it's smooth it's wet and i also like the size in my hand as well although typically i tend to be holding this pen up more higher than down here i think it's actually just something that i've been doing probably for the last six months maybe more is just to hold it up around about here but for me, this is a really beautiful pen, and you can just see it there. It's, it's a lovely pen. So I have that one inked up uh, this week. I also have this one, and this is, again, another Visconti. It's the Last Templar Jacques de Molay. And again, it has chainmail here, and you can see chainmail but it's actually a different style of chainmail. And this is also more of an aged silver look as well. But you can see here, Last Templar, you have the crosses here. Uh, you have, basically, this is the armor that they would wear, the shield. Uh, and this really is a stunning pen. It's a clipless pen, but that doesn't bother me. I know clipless pens sometimes bother people, but it doesn't bother me at all. And I don't find it rolls around on my desk or on the page. Now, this also has a 23 cap palladium medium nib on there. Um, whereas this one was a, an 18 carat gold nib. But the majority of my Viscontis tend to have a palladium nib on them. So that is a really lovely writing pen for me. The next one is the Visconti Homo Sapiens and this is a Corsani 90. And there were only 90 of these made um, for Stilograph Corsani in Rome. Uh, and this was to commemorate the 90th edition of his store. And his store was handed down from grandfather to father and now to son. So um, Stefano at Stilograph Corsani, uh, had, he had this pen made. Uh, there were 79 fountain pens, and the remainder were rollables. This is long sold out, but I'm glad that I picked this up when I did, when I started collecting, because uh, I am really glad that I got this one. It's a stacked celluloid. It's a beautiful pen, and I love Homo sapiens. Uh, this one, I did have it originally with a medium nib, but I've swapped that out for a 1.3mm stub nib. But that is a beautiful nib, um, and I love how it writes. So I have that one inked up this week. 
And then another one from, again, Stilwell Corsani. This was the successor to the Corsani 90, and this is the octagonal. Although I play on words, the G and O in octagonal is actually a 90. So it's octa 90 NAL. But again, uh, the reason why is because of the 90th anniversary, but also because this is a, a octagonal pen, faceted pen. It, although it's a Homo sapiens, it doesn't have the Homo sapiens rings here. I guess I, I always consider this not to be a Homo sapiens, but I guess you would find it very hard to have uh, rings embedded here into the cap, like with the Corsani 90, because they would be round and the body would be uh, octagonal. So I guess I get that, um, but for me, like I still love this pen a lot. So this one has a broad 23 cap palladium nib on there, uh, and I have that one inked up this week as well. The next pen is the Visconti Homo Sapiens, and this is the Midnight in Florence. You can see it there. It's a really, really sort of lovely purpley material with some white going on in that body. Uh, it's a really nice pen. I love the Homo Sapiens weight and size. This, I have it with a 23 cap Palladium medium nib there. Uh, but when I say I like the size and weight, you can see the size in my hand here. It just really is a nice size. And I find that they are very well balanced pens. So for me, I do like the Homo Sapiens range of pens. So that one is inked up again this week. And also the Visconti Daedalus. Daedalus as in uh, the Minotaur. And you can see here there's a Minotaur head on the body of the pen there. And then the Minotaur maze you can see is adorned all throughout that pen there. Uh, this is a silver, uh, sterling silver or AG925 overlay. Uh, and I just love this pen. I, it's a beautiful pen, and I do love this pen a lot. But you may also see there that there in that blue resin is some silver dust, and it is real silver dust. So uh, that is impregnated within that resin, so it sparkles. Uh, although it's a little bit more muted because of the overlay that you have there obscuring that silver. Um, but this uh, is a double reservoir. Uh, like the Homo sapiens, and I have a medium 23 cap palladium nib on this pen. And again, I just love how these palladium nibs write. They are some of them are more bouncy or more stiffer than others, but uh, I do love these nibs a lot. And they are Bock nibs. And then I have this one, and this is the Visconti Opera Master. Luna, and this was a Goulet exclusive. Uh, it's made from the same blue resin material as the Daedalus, uh, so it has real silver dust within the body there. But this is a beautiful pen. Opera Masters tend to be on the heavier side, uh, and also obviously longer as well. Uh, but I do love this, I, I love it a lot. So, on here, on this pen, I have a 23 cap palladium stub nib so 1.3 millimeter stub nib but I find that these are a good size and good weight so I do like these a lot and I love that they ha hold around two and a half milliliters of ink there so for me that also is a really good size and of capacity of ink that the pen can hold and then I have the Armando Simone Club, and this is the Bologna Extra, and the material is the black and gold Lucians. And you'll see here that it has a lot of transparency going on in the body here. Uh, you can see the pneumatic filling sleeve, which is a silver colored sleeve uh, from inside the body there. But this always reminds me of honeybees uh, and a honey or a beehive. Uh, it's just a stunning, stunning pen, and you can see there why I sort of think that, because it, it really is a lovely sort of colour mix going on there. 
Now, these are a the nib is a 18 carat gold magic flex nib it's a medium nib um and again i like the size and weight of these pens uh, again they're they're longer they're weightier i just love them so for me uh, i like writing with this pen a lot and then i have two pelicans i have this one and this is the pelican M1000, it's a Warden, and it's called the Starlight. Now, the Warden is a technique that's used to basically layer gold dust or abalone shell, which is what these lines are, into the body, and then they put a lacquer over the top of it to protect it. So this is a Warden, it's a Starlight, uh, and the star, as in the gold dust here that you can see on the pen, and then you have those Varden strips, which are absolutely gorgeous and really do shine a lot. So for me, that is a really nice pen. Now, these come with a number 8 size 18 cat gold nib. And this is a medium nib. Uh, all of the Varden M1000s come with medium nibs. Uh, I can swap it out, but I do like the medium nibs, so I find that they write tend to write more like a broad or a double broad, so that doesn't bother me so much. And then last but not least, we have the Pelican M1000 Varden Sunlight, which basically is very similar to the Starlight. It doesn't have the gold dust in the body, but it has a lot more Varden strips there. So this one is also beautiful as well. And I do love uh, writing with this one a lot. Uh, I love seeing all that Varden sparkle. And again, this has a Pelican M1000 nib. Uh, this is a medium nib. They tend to be bouncy, springy nibs. Uh, I like the size. It's a quite a lightweight pen compared to some of my other pens, like compared to some of these Visconti's like the Daedalus or the Opera Master Luna, or even the ASC Bologna Extra. But it doesn't bother me. Uh, I, I find that it's actually still quite a um, it's a lightweight pen, but I can write with it quite well. So I have that pen inked up as well. So that's my currently inked pens for this week. I think let's now go and do a writing sample. So the first pen is the Visconti Camelot. So we'll do an ink swatch here. Now this is a medium nibbed pen and this is the Visconti Camelot. Uh, it's a medium 18 cat gold nib and then the ink in here is Mont Blanc Lavender purple which is a nice uh, purple ink the next pen is the Visconti Last Templar Jacques de Molay so we will do an ink swatch now this is a medium nib as well you can see there now this is the Visconti Jacques De Molay, and it is a medium 23 cat palladium nib and then the ink in here is diamine earl grey which is my favorite grey ink the next pen is the Visconti Homo Sapiens Corsani 90 so let's do an ink swatch here now this is a 1.3 millimeter stub nib so it does put down a very wide line so it's the Visconti Homo Sapiens Corsani 90 and it's a 1.3 millimeter 23 cat palladium nib and then the ink in here is Diamine 
majestic purple but that is my favorite purple ink the next pen is the Visconti Homo Sapiens Corsani Octagonal so again we'll do an ink swatch now this is a broad nib but I still find that this tends to write a little bit more towards a 1.3 millimeter stub nib for Sconti Homo Sapiens Corsani Octagonal so it's spelt that way and it's a broad 23 cat palladium nib and then the ink in here is Pelican Edelstein Topaz now I said that this nib writes although it's a broad nib it writes more like a stub nib you can see the line variation between the 1.3 millimeter stub and the broad nib and honestly I can't see a lot of difference between that stub nib and that broad nib the next pen is the Visconti Homo Sapiens Midnight in Florence so again we'll do an ink swatch here and this is my second favorite purple ink so it's the Visconti Homo Sapiens and it's the Midnight in Florence and it's a medium 23 cat palladium nib and then the ink in here is KWZ Gummy Berry which is my second favorite purple ink the next pen is the Visconti Daedalus so we'll do an ink swatch again and this is a medium nib it's a little bit more of a firmer nib but I still like how this writes it's a very wet writing nib so this is the Visconti Daedalus uh, and it is a medium 23 cat palladium nib and then the ink in here is Visconti blue but I, I love how that writes very very wet and then we have the Visconti Opera Master Luna from Goulet pens which again is long sold out so we'll do an ink swatch here as you can see it's a very broad 1.3 millimeter stub nib so it's a Visconti Opera Master Luna and it's a 1.3 millimeter stub nib it's a 23 cat palladium nib and then the ink again in here is Visconti Blue but you can see the difference in that blue color between those two nibs the next pen is the Armando Simone Club Bologna Extra in the black and gold Luchens so we'll do another ink swatch here and this always is a super fire hose wet nib all of my ASC's are so this is an ASC Bologna extra in the black and gold Luchens and it is a medium 18 cat gold nib and then the ink in here is KWZ honey which is a beautiful honey colored ink the next pen is the Pelican M1000 Varden Starlight. So we'll do an ink swatch here. And 
and you can see that it still is quite a wet nib. So this is the Pelican M1000 Varden Starlight and it's a medium 18 cat gold nib and then the ink in here is Pilot Oroshizuku Inner Ho which is a greeny gold ink and you can already see that this is starting to feather it's very wet ink and then last but not least we have the Pelican M1000 Warden Sunlight so we'll do an ink swatch here and although this is again another medium another Pelican M1000 nib this tends to be more drier and also which may be more of a, a, a sort of a, an ink tendency here but I find it's also a narrower line as well um, so this is the Pelican M1000 Varden Sunlight in a medium 18 cat gold nib and then the ink in here is Franklin Christoph Sweet Maroon, which is a lovely maroon coloured ink. So I think let's go through these pens and inks one more time. We have a Visconti Camelot in a medium 18 cat gold nib inked up with Mont Blanc Lavender Purple. We have a Visconti Last Templar Jacques de Molay in a medium 23 cap palladium nib inked up with Diamine Earl Grey. We have a Visconti Homo Sapiens Corsani 90 in a 1.3mm 23 cap palladium stub nib inked up with Diamine Majestic Purple. We have a Visconti Homo Sapiens Corsani Octagonal with a broad 23 cap palladium nib inked up with Pelican Edelstein Topaz. We have a Visconti Homo Sapiens Midnight in Florence in a medium 23 cap palladium nib inked up with KWZ Gummy Berry. We have a Visconti Daedalus in the medium 23 cap palladium nib inked up with Visconti Blue. We have an Armando Simone Club Bologna Extra Black and Gold Luchens in a medium 18 carat gold nib inked up with KWZ Honey. We have a Pelican M1000 Varden Starlight in a medium 18 carat gold nib inked up with Pilot Iwashizuku in a Ho. And then last but not least, we have a Pelican M1000 Varden Sunlight in a medium 18 carat gold nib inked up with Franklin Christoph Sweet Maroon. So there you have it, that's my currently inked pens for this week. Thanks for watching, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye bye.